Okay. Should we put it up here? I remember we gotta try to make it as even as possible. Because then it travels water. We are Trackers Earth, and we teach outdoor and wilderness skills, though it does cover quite the gamut. Our organization is actually broken up into four guilds. Rangers, which teaches a lot of wilderness survival, tracking. Wilders, which teaches homesteading, wild plants, uh, efforts of sustainability. The mariners, boating, fishing, all kinds of water activities, and also water ecology. And the artisans, uh, that is what people would not expect from an outdoor education school. That's that story and telling stories is the ultimate survival tool. We founded Trackers because a lot of the things we were doing in outdoor education were not real authentic skills that we felt were relevant for kids to build those deeper relationships that were important. They could not only improve their connection to the land, but could improve their connection to family, community, and what we call the village. The village encompasses a lot of things, and it's a word often used relating to community. But for me, probably the most important aspect of the village is family. And I often think it's time that we take back that word, the concept of family, because there can be a lot of diversity in family. Family can encompass a lot of things, but at its heart, at its core, it's a love and respect for those immediately in your life, a love and respect for those that you are familiar with. Right now, we're with our nine-month Rangers Apprenticeship Program. The Rangers Apprenticeship Program is designed to immerse students, teens, actually even younger than that. It's designed to immerse them into the world of our Rangers Guild. And the core studies of our Rangers Guild are three things, the wilderness survival, tracking, and the curriculum of shadows. So what we're doing today is these guys are rapidly working as fast as they can to get those debris shelters done before the rains come. They're coming any moment. Earlier today we went around and we gathered as much material as we possibly could. So we gathered leaf litter, a bunch of branches, big long sticks for the ridge poles, all sorts of good stuff. And then we arranged them around in piles. Actually they were pretty big piles. And um, after all that, everything, all the debris was collected, they went to their spots, they selected this spot, it's a pretty good one, um, and made a mattress. So this mattress is super cozy, made of dry moss and leaves, and you want to take a lot of time working on it because it's an important spot. That's what you're sleeping on. And it insulates you from the ground, so it's not as cold. Then they found a really nice, long stick branch, super straight. Um, and that'll be the ridge pole, the top, that kind of supports the entire structure with two Y sticks. So they're just kind of sticking in the ground. You want to make a triangle. So it's not, you kind of think of it, I always tell the kids that I work with that it's a debris sleeping bag, not a palace, because you want to be able to warm up all the little nooks and crannies with your body heat. So they built the mattress and then the ridge pole and the two Y sticks to support it. And then they very carefully laid out little bits of sticks all along, kind of like ribs, made sure there was no big holes or gaps that water could reach in. And then they just started piling debris on, piling and piling and piling. And what they're hoping to do is get um, at least up to two feet in, up their arm, like be able to reach their arm in and be that deep. So it looks like they're doing pretty good so far. Sustainability is people living with the land, and that's the only way, in my opinion, to do it. If you separate yourselves from the land, then that's not a plausible or even economical result. And when we think about economy, we don't think about economy as currency. We think about economy as reciprocal relationships. And so the understanding that the home that I live in and the food that I eat and the relationships that I build can all be based locally on the land you live and the land you regard and the land you care for is really what we teach. We teach skills that can allow you to experience that with a depth that we don't get to experience in our modern society. We teach skills of resiliency. But they're ultimately leading towards a deeper understanding that the relationships of livelihood and respect can be created in a way that 
our modern world that abstracts everything can, doesn't allow us to uh, live. Okay, build that up. Yeah, We're good. Killing it. Beautiful. You guys keep an eye on how delicately I was handling that when I was. Good job, Tobias. Somebody give Tobias a hand. <laughs>